Okay guys, I could not wait but do a video about this. Did you guys catch Steven's blog on Friday, March 15th? Okay, so you guys have to forgive me. I am new to the team. And so there's some things that are coming out that I catch late. This one blew me away. So I'm reading this blog and I'm going, hmm, that's interesting. What is an adaptive card and why do I care about it? So I went to the link in his blog. Um, and I'm like, okay, so there's a UI here for building a card. And, you know, I started thinking about this card. I'm like, how could this card help me in my world, right? Now, I don't notice any way to connect these items to stuff in Office 365, but I kind of humor myself and I go ahead and get started. So again, I spent uh, about an hour just playing around in this world and I came up with two awesome things without any documentation other than that blog. And so I'm, I just wanna share with you because this is really huge. And I'd love it if you guys could play around with it a little bit and get to know what it is. Now, those of you that know what Adaptive Cards is, you still might find this video interesting because I'm using them in Flow for Teams, okay? So I have a team site and it's just called Planning Team Site, right? And in it, I have two uh, channels, one called Photo Notifications and one called Change Order Alerts. So let's do the photo notifications first. This channel, um, whenever a new photo is uploaded to the construction photos. So I'm actually using the um, Flow app that I did like last week or something. I did a Flow app on my phone at Silicon Valley and then I posted the video like last week for you guys so you could know how to do it. But I'm using that library and basically I'm using the app on my phone to upload a photo. Okay, so what I'm doing that you can't see right this minute is I'm using the app to upload a photo from my phone. So um, if you haven't seen the video on the Flow app for uploading photos, then uh, go back a couple of weeks and look for it and you can find out how I did this and everything, okay? Now, it actually asks for a photo, it asks for a contractor's name, and it asks for a subject and a business reason, right? And then when it finishes, the button will go ahead and upload the file. Now, so the file right this minute, this is happening live as I speak, is being uploaded to the SharePoint site by the flow button. Now, there's another flow that I just created today that you can see it just happened right now. It just happened, okay? It added an adaptive card here about that photo, okay? So you could imagine that our team is managing all the stuff that comes in from the field, and this is our way of knowing, hey, a new photo just came in. So basically, this card will go and pick up some of the dynamic properties from the uh, photo log, and then I can set a due date on it. So I can say, okay, this is due on the 31st, and here's my note. Now, I have not yet figured out how to get the data from here. That's my next step. And then, you know, we can do this together, and then you can share what you've been doing. But then I click OK, and it actually opens up the task in Planner that I created from this uh, card. So all, so the card, in addition to the card, it also creates a task in Planner. And what I'm gonna do as soon as I figure out how to get the data out of the card is I'm gonna set the due date. Um, but the, the title and the start date and all of that were set in the flow. So that was like the first thing I did. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. I also have a view button here. If you look at the view button, if you click the view button, it will take you to the photo that I uploaded. Uh, and this is the photo that I, the photo that I uploaded, okay? So it was just a photo that I had on my phone. So I really liked that. I was like, wow, there's a lot of use cases for that. I think it's really cool that it actually uses, um, it actually uses the, what can I say? Uh, the thumbnails of the SharePoint photo, right? So I've used thumbnails in my workflow and I'll show you the workflow, but that was really easy to do. 
Now, I did another one called Change Order Alerts. So as you know, I have this ongoing app that I've been like growing up called Change Orders, and it just captures all the potential change orders. And I added this one today. Um, and uh, let's add another one. So I'm just gonna do a quick edit here. And I'm gonna copy one of these and add it as new. It's okay, you know, this is, this is okay. We can have a little bit of duplication here. And then I'm gonna edit this. Now, then I go back to my team site and I go to change orders, watch this screen. So now if change order comes in, then I have another adaptive card that looks completely different from the other one that basically lets you know there are 18 cost impacts and six schedule. So we added one more cost impact. So it's doing a counter cost versus schedule, right? I mean, just, and it took me minutes to do that. Now this one has no links or anything. So this one was a little bit easier to do uh, than the first one because the first one has some links to a, to a planner and a link to a SharePoint site uh, flop folder but this one was even easier. So I'm like, wow, that is like super huge. I can do all kinds of reporting right here in my adaptive card and it can be as a result of any trigger I want. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about this. So let me show you some things you need to do. No, no, so if you go to the site adaptive cards, it'll give you like an introduction as to what this is and but what's most important is you don't have to be super, super smart with this because it has a designer. So you can use the schema explorer and the samples to kind of um, try out different designs. And so the two that I used for the two I just showed you was this one here, which is like the default one, the activity update. And then the other one that I did was the sporting event where it's scoring. I just replaced the two sports team with the count of cost versus schedule impacts. Then if you just pick the one you want and then hit try it yourself, and now you can design it right here in the browser. What's nice about that is it builds the JSON for you, right? And so if you wanna use this JSON in flow, you just copy the JSON and put it into the message. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is, my cost impact one, which is finished. It's saying running, but it's because I haven't refreshed. It is totally finished and it succeeded. And and these are so easy. I'm not, I'm not having a lot of trial and error. You can see that I succeeded really fast, right? I didn't have a lot of errors, which I usually have when something is really hard. So on this one, I've got when an item is created and then I have a variable for the count of cost and the count of schedule. Then I go and I get my items from the change order list. So this is like, it, the trigger is when something is created because you don't need a report more often than something being created. It could also be monthly, daily, weekly, who knows, whatever you want to do as a trigger. I get the items and then I apply to each one a condition. So if the cost estimate is greater than zero, that means it's a cost impact. If not, it's a schedule impact. So all I do is increment the variables to get those numbers. And then I go to my new card, which is called post your own adaptive card as a flow bot to a channel. And you basically pick your team and your channel, but then you paste that JSON that I was showing you into the message area and you can add your own dynamic fields. Yay. Now I did have some problems with the dynamic fields. What I mean by that is notice that when I click in here, sometimes this doesn't show up. That's, I ran into a problem where my dynamic fields were not coming up all the time. If that happens to you, what you can do is like click at the end or the beginning, which will usually wake it up and you can put it at the end and then you can cut it out and paste it inside the text. So just be careful you don't mess up your JSON. You need to, you need to place it within something that's in quotes, um, replacing what was there. So um, very easy to do. I mean, like uh, give it a try. I had no problems. If you want me to do like a walkthrough on this, um, put it in the comments below and I'll do that next Friday. This is an awesome new thing guys. And my brain is just, just going, wow, all the different things I can do with this. 
So play around. Let me know what you think. This is too cool. Totally too cool. Have a great rest of your weekend. See you next week.